Hello everybody, my name is Bander and welcome back to Alpha. Today is episode 11 and we have just come back from our journey to the farther regions of the world map. Getting ourselves some cactus and some sugarcane and a ton of clay, which surprisingly uh, led to a very adventurous episode. And I've been smelting just a small stack of it to get some bricks going. So we uh, can add that to um, some of our build types because bricks is... Bricks is brick is not the best block type. Oh, that looks a lot different. Wow, that looks so much different than normal. So there's no brick stairs, right? Yeah, okay. So today we're going to be setting up these uh, the sugarcane and the cactus so we can farm them, and then we are going to work on decorating the town a little bit to make it look a little nicer. As you can see, I've put in uh, or at least started to work on a gravel path. That should hopefully extend all the way to every single building we'll have. We're going to have some more buildings around here. Look good. And uh, I think we're going to make a fountain. Just a sort of town square fountain kind of building. And uh, let's see how this looks. Because I kind of want to make a chimney here. Let's see if I can do it right. So let's do that. And then... Thinking like right here... I don't know, that's all the brick I got, um, let's see, oh this takes forever to mine doesn't it, jeez. This brick texture is very, very different than normal, it's really bright, oh, well, I'll take care of that later. Anyway, let's start working on the Shuvkin Cactus Farm. So I'm going to need my bucket, and I'm going to need a space for this for the reeds to go. I'm thinking... See, so I want a building to go here, so maybe we'll do it over here? We don't really need a lot. We just need some space to work with. Let's do that, and then grab some extra water from... Here. And then place it all around. Perfect. And then, yep, that's it. Uh, for the cactus farm, I want to do something a little bit more, uh, more, more interesting. We're gonna make it actually uh, usable because cactus is gonna be a very important uh, technology because of its uh, unique properties and the fact that it does damage to you, but it also does damage to mobs, so it can be used as a mob farm, which uh, eventually we'll get into. So what we're basically going to do, and uh, do we have any sand? That's a big thing, because if we don't have any sand, then we can't plant this. Oh, I see some wheat. Let's grab that. Up. Holding down shift pre prevents you from breaking the uh, tilled soil. So if you're ever walking across it, because uh, when you walk it, when you walk across it, it kind of damages it. Oh. But uh, if you don't, then if you press shift, it won't, it won't affect anything. Okay, so I have no sand. Let's go get some sand from the uh, the beach, which is this way. So what's new around here in these parts? The town. Obviously, we haven't made any real progress in the town except for these things. I want to add some 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 light fixtures, uh, some like uh, lamps, some lampposts, and stuff like that to make it a little bit more nicer looking, and some signs to uh, kind of tie it all together. Make some like street street lights. Parkour without sprint key is difficult. Alright. What else do we need for the town? Um, I don't know. It's really difficult. There's not a lot of blocks to work with, so there's not a lot of uh, things you can really make that really seem unique. So that's pretty much the problem I've been struggling with in terms of uh, inspiration and ideas. Oh, is there any gravel in here? I don't see any. We need gravel to uh, continue the paths. So we don't need a ton of sand, we just need enough for uh, a few patches of cactus. But, uh, grab a little bit extra just because we need it. I always have backup shovels ready because they go quickly.
Alrighty, let's head back, and we're going to start to work on the cactus farm. Basically, what's going to be, if you've seen my episodes of Jot City, I have a little cactus farm with a uh, some hoppers that surround uh, a cactus and a block above it, so that uh, whenever the cactus grows, it breaks and falls into the hoppers system. We're going to do something similar like that, except we're going to expand the idea, make it for multiple cactuses, as well as using it to... Um, using water streams instead of uh, hoppers. So I will have to be present in order for the cactuses to collect, and I'll have to collect them myself. Uh, but uh, it shouldn't be too big of a deal as we go along here. So let's get started. I need the cactuses and the sand and the water. That's it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we do need water. Let's see. Okay, so we want the cactus... Here, I guess. So I'll mine this all out. Perfect. Sand, cactus, and then water. Basically, we want the collect collection point to be here. And then, if we were to dig this out and plant a second cactus here. And I may need some signs in order to make this uh, work work better, but uh, I'll, but uh, basically, we want all the cactus to flow to the right towards this point here. So if we put water there, then hopefully, yep, 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 nope, no, it stops there. So we need actually right there that works fine because everything will move properly, I think, except for right in the middle. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, ouch. And so then after that, we just need block, block, and then let's see what we want to use. Let's use, let's use some smooth stone for this. Perfect. And then again, just right here. And I've never tested this before. I've never made a cactus farm like this, so we'll see if this actually works. But hopefully, the blocks will fall into place. Actually, you know what would be better? If we had the oh whatever, if we had the block here, because that way, uh, since this space doesn't move, the cactus will hopefully not fall there. If that makes any sense. So basically, when the cactus grows, it'll break, and hopefully, it'll launch off into one of these directions, be collected by the water, and move down here, where I can collect them every now and then, and then we can continue to expand it with more water and some science as we go along. Pretty easy. No problem at all. So next, we need to start working on a town square sort of fountain kind of thing. So I want the town square to be kind of here. Gonna have some buildings here, here, some couple things here, and some paths leading off to like residential area. Oh, I got a sneeze. Hang on a second. Okay. And so we're gonna use smooth stone. Er. Hmm. Maybe brick would look good. Brick fountain? Does that sound right? We'll give it a try. Fountain is pretty easy. It's uh, very basic. I'm trying to make it a little more interesting though. We'll do. Let's do a five by five hole. That way it's nice and big and still evenly spaced. I don't know why, but I feel like I sound very nasally right now. Like, my nose is kind of clogged, but I'm not really, like, sick. Just not working out the way I wanted to. Though. So I apologize if I sound funny. So we want... Oh, is it getting dark? Oh, okay, that's fine. We're well lit here. We don't need to worry about mobs. Let's grab the remainder of the brick. Um... Let me put in another stack of clay there, just cause. Put all the clay in here. And then I'm gonna salvage those bricks, cause I wanna build this fountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clay goes in. And then we take that, turn that into brick. Oops. And we'll go up here, grab this brick, so we need it for the fountain. Oh! 
some of the sugarcane is already grown. That's good. Actually, we should break that immediately. I doubt this is grown. No. Sugarcane is going to be very vital to the book effort, because bookshelves are one of the very few unique building blocks in this game. And it's nice because it's been available since pretty much the start. Only a few updates ago was it uh, added. Dunk. Brick mines very slowly. I remember half slabs used to be only breakable by pick for whatever reason. And then eventually they changed it to axe, but it was weird because they weren't burnable. You had to mine them with a pickaxe. And if you try to mine them with an axe, uh, just nothing would really happen. Same thing with fences. Fences were weird too. They were, you couldn't mine them with your, uh, with your regular axe. So let's see, we want that, and then we want to line it with brick. Yeah, let's grab a few more. Oh, I tried sprinting there, that's so sad. No sprinting. Grab that. I just need, like, two more, don't I? I keep trying to shift click things because I'm so used to um, normal Minecraft mechanics. But it's nice being in this nice little. That's what we were saying. So let's throw the water. I actually really like this. This actually looks really nice. The brick works really well. Just need one more though. Or two more. Two more brick. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Oops, four. Grab that. And this will do it for the lovely fountain. I do want to add some lighting to this though, so let's see what we can do about that. I'm gonna make some fences. I forgot to close my front door. Fences. Let's make all the fences. Um, Thirty-two. That's five fences. I forget. Can you not? Did I just waste all this wood for nothing? No. Okay. Oh wait, I can put a block on it. So what kind of block do we want for our sort of fence? Stone? Do we have any other options? Stone, dirt, sand. There's no sandstone, right? Nope. Okay. Um, I can do brick. Brick? No, let's just do stone. Stone sounds fine. See, oh! Now this is... This kind of puts a... A damper in my plans here because cactuses are not supposed to act like this. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's fine. <laughs> At least the farm kind of works. Look at that. Perfect. I don't know why. Uh, I guess this is this is an, a newer thing because cactuses are supposed to break when they're next to a block. But whatever. It still works, kind of. Where am I going? Now, can I jump with this? Let's do it... Yeah, right here. Can you not place uh, fences on top of other fences? Can only do like... Is there a way to cheat this? Yeah, there's a way to cheat this. Hang on a second, we can do this. Um, we need to start from the top, though. Uh, 
or let me put dirt there. Fence post. Break this guy. Dirt, dirt, fence post, fence post. It's like a puzzle. This is probably the most boring content possible to do. For what you can do now in Minecraft, building a fence post and a fountain is probably like the least exciting thing possible. Yeah. It's weird that you can't place fences on other fences. So you can't place can't place the torch. Actually, I don't want this here. I want this to be a solid block. Solid block with torches all around it. Perfect. And then we'll take my shovel, which I don't have. Break all the dirt down. And take a look at it. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's go let's go head over to the mine, grab some gravel so we can start working on the path. I need some shovels. Storage house. Grant me Shh, no shovels. Yeah, we need wood. I've literally run out of things to talk about here. Oh. Well, at least the game agrees with me, because it just spawned a tree on me. Jeez, that was crazy. If you're going to be like that, I'm going to chop you right down. Your life was short-lived. <laughs> ah, the nice, beautiful morning song to greet us in a fine, fresh new day. And to uh, celebrate this fine morning, we're going to go down to a cave and not come out until nighttime. Ooh, mushrooms. Can you make stew? Is that a thing? So all this gravel is going to be good for pathing. Gravel has always been sort of the, the road block, because there was never anything really good for roads. Uh, dirt kind of worked, but most of the time because you didn't have coarse dirt. Uh, you couldn't make dirt roads because they'd always end up becoming green with grass. But now we have like coal blocks, which is good for like uh, asphalt. Uh, and then we have like um, lots of different types of clay, which is always good for um, your different types of uh, road. Any gravel here? No, okay. Ah, the old slime cave. Many a, many a man died in here. Technically only one, but he had many lives. I want to get all the gravel we can. Huh. Flint's nice, but I'm not really going for flint, so if you can stop giving me flint, that would be awesome. Ooh, spooky cave noises. I think next episode we're going to go back into the caves. Oh, look, iron. I desperately need iron. we got stack. Just get a little bit more here. That should be good. Let's grab this iron though. Someday we'll return to where the slimes first attacked, but uh, today is not the day. Hello. My timer. Oh, creeper. I am excellent at PV combat. Um, how do I get out of here? Where is the exit? I thought it was this way. I guess I'm not. Where is... 
wait. It's oh, it's right here. Hang on. I got it. I got it. It's here. I got it. Here. Ah. Where's that zombie coming from? Where is he? Where is he hiding? All right. Well, we're getting close to the end of the episode. My timer just went off. Obviously, uh, it's a really slow episode. I don't know. I thought I thought the uh, cactus farm and the sugarcane farm would be a little more interesting than they were, but uh, that didn't really pan out. <laughs> oh well. I think next episode we're definitely gonna go caving because I wanna I wanna get myself a diamond or a couple of diamonds, make myself a sword and some uh, and a pick. That'd be nice. And uh, hopefully our farms will have seen some more progress by that time. I'm gonna take all this way and use it for more farming. I'm actually really happy with how this fountain looks. It actually looks really nice. And I think having the gravel uh, spawn off of it will look nice, nicer. Creeper on the mountain. So let's get some gravel up in here. No. Stupid door. Perfect. And then let's try to link up the gravel here with the farmhouse. I'm gonna keep it at least three wide the whole time. Where's my gravel? Why did I take that off my bar? Hmm. Making roads is hard work, requires a lot of heavy concentration. I'm gonna get it right up to where this fence is gonna be, and then we're gonna take it a single road just this way. Just in front of the house, and put. So, so, like I said, sorry for this rather very slow episode. Uh, wasn't planning on it to be this slow. I thought it was going to be a little bit more exciting than just cactus farm, sugarcane farm, fountain, get sand, get, get gravel. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Oh, hey! Huh. Ne I, I, I don't know how cactus mechanics works because one of those did break off and one of those did not. This is a nice fountain. I like this fountain. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for us today. <laughs> Hopefully next time we'll have something a little more exciting, like caving or something. We're gonna go look for more diamonds. Hopefully not die miserably like last time while we're trying to leave the cave. Maybe we'll do something a little bit more safer in terms of our exit strategy. But, yeah. That's going to do it for us. I have to fix this house, uh, put a line of wood across there, maybe make it a little bit more 3D, less uniform, and put a chimney on top. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in uh, the next episode. Bye-bye.